Well, here in the bowels of the Aviva with Patrick McElhenney, the man of the match and scorer of the winning goal from the Irish Daily Mail FAI Cup Final. That's pretty much a, a dream cup final, Patrick, isn't it? Uh, it is. Um, I don't know about man of the match. I think getting scoring the goal sort of got me, but look, it was the things you think about you know, a few days before the game, that scoring the winner and, and the Dundalk end, and um, luckily it came off. It was a tight game, but is it fair to say that Dundalk were probably the better team throughout and you deserved it? I think so. I think they're always tight. Like It's, it's cork, cork on us. We push each other and um, we just had to get over the line, I think. And I think in the second half, we just aged it. I think um, we played the better football in the second half and we won us the game. Talk me through that goal, the goal that turned out to be the winner. I said there before, it's, it's only my second header in my career. I'm not really known for it. Um, I get a lot of stick off envoys for it, but... Uh, the cross was pinpoint, like I, I didn't really have to move, I just had to meet the ball and hit the target and, and luckily it went on, um, but I'm buzzing. Like. And did that kind of sum up Dundalk as a team? They won the ball back, turned it over and you know, did the hard part of winning it back, the hard work of winning it back, then that kind of lovely football stuff of Gannon's cross and your header? I think it was Jamie robbed him. Jamie works hard, like he's he's brilliant for us, and he doesn't get a lot of credit because technically he's he's one of the best that I've played with, and he just robbed him. Set Gano and I took off into the box, and, and luckily he's found me. Now it was a big call to come back to Dundalk, but obviously it's turned out to be the right one. It has. Um, I, I said it before. I think I'm lucky Dundalk took me back as well, and I owe them a lot. Like they they didn't have to take me back, and like I love it. Like it's the environment and the the players, the staff, and. They get the best out of me and I'm just trying my best for them and, and giving them returns as much as I can. Talk to me about Stephen Kenny and what he brings as a manager because he seems to have something special. Oh, he is. Like it's, it speaks for itself. I don't know that it's, um, it's just a serial winner and they keep going year in, year out and he's demands on us and um, I hope we, we can return it for him and we've done the double this year now and, and next year Europe's going to be crucial. I think we're going to kick on towards that. Yeah, is that the key? Do Dundalk have to do it in Europe again? Well, that's what we're judged on. I think domestically we've done what we've done, so um, and we've got into the Europa League before. So uh, I think that's what we're going to be judged on. I know, like financially compared to the teams we play on it, we're miles off, but I think technically we're not. Like so, that's what we'll be judged on. And do you want to be part of that, or what does the future hold for Patrick Bacalini now? I, I have a free year deal here. I'm going nowhere. Like um, we're going nowhere fast. And um, as I said, I'm lucky they took me back. So I feel as if I owe a lot to them. Patrick, well done today. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.